guys, welcome back to Empower In. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much for joining me. So, I have been getting a lot of emails from people that are considering becoming a nurse. A lot of these students are on their second career. Maybe they worked for a few years and, you know, don't like their job, or they lost their job, or they're mommies who have older children and now they want to pursue their dream of becoming nurses. I've even had some grandmothers contact me who said that they always wanted to be nurses and you know they want to know how to become nurses and I also have emails from high school students who want to know what they can do to become a nurse. So um, the main question is how do I become a nurse? There are different routes that you can take and it's confusing. Why is it so confusing? So. Let's talk about those. So the things that you might see a lot are LPN, RN, and BSN. And so I'm gonna clarify those for you. The LPN is called a licensed practical nurse. This is a license that you usually get at a community college. You can start this right after high school and this usually takes about 12 to 18 months to complete. And with this license, it's a little bit harder to get a job because most of the people want a little bit higher of degree to hire you. However, you might be able to still find some work. Um, what is good about this, I would say like what an advantage to having your LPN is, that it is easier to get accepted into these programs. Um, the A lot of times the BSN programs are almost next to impossible to gain acceptance into. And so same thing with the associate degree programs, which we're going to talk about in a second. So, um, it is easier to get into your LPN programs. Um, one disadvantage, um, which is that you um, have to take LPN boards, which uh, means that when you do advance to get your registered nurse or your RN, that you will have to take the boards again, which it's don't let that stop you, but you just have to be aware of that. Um, and boards are hard, we all know that. <laughs> So, um, but don't let that stop you again. So, um, LPN is not a bad route to go, especially if you're, if you need to start working right away. And sometimes if, like, let's say you're a nursing assistant and you work at maybe a nursing home, then sometimes the, um, places will hire you right away. So if you have a job waiting for you, then that's a great route to go because it's pretty quick. Um, the other thing is that if you do work in a hospital, um, you pretty much do almost all the same work, but you get paid quite a bit less. Um, the exact numbers, I'm not sure. I think at the last hospital that I worked at, it, there was like a $5 difference an hour. So, you know, it's just something to consider. Um, the thing is, you do most of the same work, but there's a, a few things that the registered nurse has to do for you. So it's a little bit difficult. I see a lot of LPNs um, asking for help, like, hey, can you do this? Because I'm not licensed to do that. So, but it's just something to consider. Um, what is good is that the LPN programs usually have what they call bridge programs. And it's pretty easy to go from LPN to ADN, which is associate degree nurse. And then from the associate degree nurse, you can usually find some pretty easy bridges to the BSN, which is the bachelor's degree. So, um, it's not a bad route to start. Actually, if you think about it, from start to finish, if you were to start your LPN, and then go from LPN to RN, Associate Degree RN, and then go from Associate Degree RN to BSN, it would take you, if you went straight through, it would take you about four to five years, which is the same as if you were to go the, the generic bachelor's degree route in a university. So, it's just something to think about. Um, so the next thing we're going to talk about is associate degree nurse. Um, you'll see it called ADN, so associate degree nurse. And what's good is that this is a two-year college program, so you get an associate's degree. And what's good about it is that it does take two years, so you can be ready to work in two years. Now, I'm saying two years, but you actually have to consider the prerequisites. Um, some programs I've seen actually allow you to take it um, at the same time, but I don't know how that's possible. So you'll see some nurses taking their anatomy physiology along with, you know, their nursing classes like med surge. I don't know, I wouldn't really recommend it, but I have seen nurses do it. 
So if you're really focused and you're very motivated, you can do it. Um, I would probably recommend doing those classes before, doing the prerequisite classes before. Um, but whatever works for you. So um, the associate degree programs have a few advantages. One advantage is it's a little bit easier to get accepted into an associate degree program than it is to get into a bachelor's degree program. Um, the other um, benefit is, like we said, you can usually start working in about two years. Um, another benefit is that it's easier to get um, a job in a hospital because you have your registered, um, registered nursing, you have your RN. <laughs> Um, the other thing is that you're going to be taking the RN boards, which is the same boards that if you were to get your bachelor's degree that you would be taking. So no more boards for you unless you, until you get your master's degree, right? Um, so some great routes to take. Um, the other thing is called BSN or bachelor's degree in nursing. This is the generic four-year track. So this is a great track for a lot of high school students who just want to go straight to one university and stay at that university for four years. Um, it's also a great track if you did all of your prerequisites at a community college and then you want to apply to a bachelor's degree program at a university, which is a great way to save money. I did that too. I did a, well not, I did a lot of my classes at community colleges and then I transferred them over to a university when I got accepted. So. The advantage of a BSN is obviously you're at the um, max of what it is to be an RN and it's easier for you to decide whether you want to get your master's degree in nurse practitioner. Um, the other thing is that it's a lot easier to get it, um, hired at a hospital because they really prefer the bachelor's degree. Um, the bachelor's degree focuses more on leadership skills um, which are great um, for the hospitals because they always need you know people that are in those leadership roles um, the only problem and I'm saying only but you know there's a few more one of the main problems is that it's very hard to get accepted into these programs so you really need to keep your GPAs super high especially in those science classes like anatomy physiology and biology they really need to be if at all possible A's maximum B's so you really have to keep your GPA really high. But it is a great route to take and I highly recommend at least starting that route. And then if you can't get accepted into to the BSN programs, then maybe do the um, LPN or associate degree, apply to those programs. So um, for my high school students, I have a lot of high school students that say, you know, what can I do now? I'm a high school student, I'm in my 10th grade, but I wanna be a nurse or I'm in ninth grade, what can I do to be a nurse? For you guys, I would recommend taking as many science classes as possible because the more you can become comfortable with your science classes, the better off you'll be in the future. Um, nursing is a science and you have to take some really hard classes in order to gain acceptance into the nursing you know, programs. So um, the other thing is obviously you need to take um, the SAT and ACT scores really seriously because if you get really good scores then you can go to a really good college. Um, one of the best things you can do for that is to buy the prep books which is the SAT prep and the ACT prep and if you guys study the books then you guys will probably do very well. Those books are specifically designed for those tests. So for my um, students that have already a bachelor's degree I want to encourage you to look into an option called Accelerated BSN. Um, yeah, Accelerated BSN. <laughs> okay, if you have a bachelor's degree in anything, whether it be bachelor's in arts, I don't know, just name it, whatever it is, you are eligible to take the Accelerated BSN program. This program usually takes about 12 to 18 months and if you have a bachelor's degree, you can apply. So this is much better than if you already have a bachelor's degree and doing your LPN because then you have to go all the way up to get your bachelor's in nursing. So it's just, it's a much better option. So for you guys, what you need to do ASAP 
is to look at accelerated BSN programs in your area and go talk to them right away. Go sit, like schedule a meeting with them and look at your transcripts and see what's going to transfer. What do you have to retake? What do you have to take? What do you have to do to get accepted into their programs? From what I've heard, it's it hasn't been, and I've just heard this, I haven't, I don't really have any statistics to back it up. I haven't heard it being too, too hard to get accepted into these programs. But I could be wrong and I apologize if I am. So, I really hope this helps. It's been so much fun. And guys, if you have any questions, just let me know. I typed up a lot of it below um, what what uh, YouTube would allow me to have. It cut me off at a lot of at, at certain characters. But I put up as much information there as I could. And um, also, I've outlined the whole process of becoming a nurse from start to finish in my book. If you'd like to take a look at it, it's called How to Succeed in Nursing School. And it can be found on Amazon.com in the Kindle version or the paperback. So if you like that, um, please pick up a copy. Um, and you can always reach me at empower.rn at gmail.com. Alright guys, I love you. And I will talk to you soon. Bye!